Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for New Frontiers, the race for the galaxy board game by Rio Grand Games. Whee! I didn't know this existed until I stumbled across it in the store, which was, I saw that this font was very similar with the space background and Rio Grand Games. Then I saw the subtitle and it's like, oh, oh. My final decision to get it was, well, I could get this, and it costs less than two model packs for Marvel Crisis Protocol, which is the thing that's been really itching in the back of my head to get more stuff for. At least until I get to 20 models. So, I love Roll for the Galaxy. I like Race for the Galaxy, the original game, and I've done an unboxing video for the Roll for the Galaxy second expansion. So, let's get to this. And I've only played Race for the Galaxy. I don't actually own it. I feel it's a little messy as it kind of just turns into a stack of cards. But, eh, yeah, if I could get it cheap enough. Oh, yeah, I would definitely get it still. Ah, classic, 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 classic. Oy. So, this is a big box for this kind of stuff. Like, Race for the Galaxy probably would fit in this box, and Roll for the Galaxy in its current state definitely would. I don't know if they add more expansions later. Alright, uh, oh, wow, there's not a lot in here to begin with, so, rule book on top, and then all that stuff, I'm guessing by the weight of it, there's a bunch of cardboard underneath, because this is a heavy box, not like Kingdom Death Heavy, or some other games as well that I've had, uh, but yeah, we've got a rule book, which just has a lot of stuff, some shiny stuff, which is probably elsewhere in here, um, yeah, I don't know, like, what this game is going to have. I'm going to assume it's still going to have the normal phases and everything. Is it going to work for me via cards, dice? I don't know. Or is it all work replacement, for example? But then we've got a game thing, a uh, spiel box advertisement by the looks of it, which I might be a subscription box. I'll have to look into that, but it's a 15% discount code on the back. Uh, Rio Grande catalog for, I almost said for 2009, but that's just the, when Dominion got the award. I like Dominion. I can't stand playing just the core game. Uh, a little notice actually saying that, yes, this insert is above the cardboard sheets in order to reduce damage in shipping and everything like that. So, let's get to the other stuff first. Uh, first off, we've got a big, giant black bag with white strings. Nothing else in it. I expected something on uh, one side, but no. Then we've got a bag with a bunch of meeples. They all look like the meeples from Roll for the Galaxy, but they're all a dark navy blue. And then we've got what looks like two discs for each of the normal five player colors, although there's a purple one in here. That's going to make one of my friends really happy. Uh, then we had a bag with other bags in it! Yay! This is actually still really appreciated. Again, the material, I would prefer something different, but, uh, trying to be more mindful of, like, waste and stuff like that. But those aren't really gonna go to waste, like, they're gonna get used. Then we have cube cubes of various sizes and color. But, yeah, if you look at them, they're, like, four cubes on each side, making an eight in total put together to make one big cube each, and again, they're various sizes. I think they're mainly just two sizes, though, uh, and specific colors are specific sizes. All right, then we got that insert. It's going to get out of the way. I like that this isn't something pretty, too. That means it's going to go away. And then we have cardboard. Oh, that's awesome. There's little, uh, things in the corner, or lack of things, I should say. So it's easier to pull out, because, yeah, it's about the same size as the box. Ah, there we go. Okay. I'm just going to move the rest of the box as it's completely empty at this point. So, this game is a lot of cardboard, apparently. 18 sheets of punch-outs, to be precise. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if all these are not punch-outs, or if they are, because there's a loose one. Oh, no, nothing special about it. Uh, I was actually thinking it would be this, or one of these, which I believe are the player boards? I don't know. I kind of read the component list when buying this to see if I could tell what kind of game it was. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be all worker placement. I love worker placement. 
All right. The space theme is always appreciated. Uh. All right. So everything looks to be double sided, but ah, with most of it being black and white on one side and color on the other. Uh, like this, these, and this do not have anything on the other side. That stuff is already popping out. And then, yeah, all the tokens are the same on both sides, both in color. More stuff popping out. So, you know what? Let me grab that back. It looks like, to my knowledge, relating these to Roll for the Galaxy, more so, because, again, that's the game I know more. These look like planets that you would do development for, which would be the face for gaining planets as well in... Race for the Galaxy. I don't remember if these were called technologies in Race for the Galaxy, but they'd be technologies in Roll for the Galaxy, and you would do the research for those. Uh, this looks like a summary for Explore, and the ones that aren't double-sided look like generic, simplistic ones. It could be like they had for one of the expansions for the new expansion in Roll, where it was just like, gain this generic planet. And I say one of in air quotes as opposed to expansion air quotes, because... That expansion was three expansions, technically. Really two, and then the third one was classified as combined. So then we've got a player board that has Old Earth and abandoned mine squatters on one side each. Uh, other than the planet itself, they look exactly the same on each board, uh, as does the other board, which has... Earth's Lost Colony, and Rebel Freedom Fighters. I'm going to assume Rebel is a key word because it's in red. And I can see it in other places, just like Imperium and Aliens are. Although that just might be what they refer to the dice types in these. So, again, we've got oop, more stuff popping out. Just gotta put that back for a second. A bunch of different things that all have different stuff. Uh, everything is double-sided except for the same four spaces that were before. This time it looks like settle. So a circle. Set up eyeball. And then again, we've got more stuff. Again, the same four locations are not double sided. Uh, with produce this time. Oh, that's definitely a different icon for produce. Very similar though. Uh, a player board with starry rift pioneers. Starry with two R's? I thought it was one. And New Sparta, which is definitely familiar. I imagine a lot of this is recycled. I know some of the images are. Then we've got another one with Send Diplomatic Envoy being brand new. Or down here. And then everything else, the same things are double-sided or not. Which, again, all the planets are gray on the back. As are the researchers. Then we got a new band to get through for another pack. Again, more planets and researches. With Trade and Consume being down here, I believe Trade and Consume were the same thing in the card game. And then this one is, again, the same kind of thing. Uh, like, these are all the same, for example. But this time we've got Develop, which is what you do for technologies, like I said earlier. Another player board with Doom Colony, and it actually has a difference this time, I think. Either that or this is just meant to be, like, player number because that's the same on both sides, although it looks different. Uh, and Castaway Mutineers being the other side, that is. And then we've got New Colony and Sentient Robots. Uh, another one with Alpha Centauri and Uplift Mercenaries. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the player number. All right, and then we've got some smaller boards, which I don't even know if I counted in the original count. And then this is actually double strapped on. So kind of like you would wrap a Christmas gift with ribbon. Or any gift, really. I don't know why I said Christmas. What looks like a board specifically for the larger developments. In fact, they all have a bunch of nine costs. Uh, I remember that the six pluses, or all the sixes were pluses in the dice game, and then we've got another one for smaller ones. I don't know if all the researches are just the same, like a same set. That would be kind of disappointing, but at the same point in time, eh, whatever. Uh, speaking of which, 
This time the researches are not black and white on each side and are different. I might have actually just misconstrued that with the others. Uh, but still some more planets. This time it's completely blank there. But also the same one, same other ones are blank. Uh, then we've got a pair of planets. Uh, a thing for setup on is on the back. I don't know what it's meant to be on the front. The shiny ships from the rulebook, which like I said are probably here. Two completely blank punch outs, which means either, oh, yep, I was about to say, either there's similar layouts with things actually cut and then they just cut them all the same for simplicity's sake. Or there was something that used to be here, like the four blank punch outs, and I mean blank like this, not blank empty that were in the second edition of Gloomhaven. I'm guessing these are things that can be met once. They look very similar to the ones that are in Roll for the Galaxy, the came in the first expansion. Then we've got some more, and I'm assuming these are ships. Uh, I'm guessing a player order tracker looks very similar to the one for the Roll for the Galaxy uh, market expansion, I believe it was. Another really big punch out. Just this thing comes right out, and so does almost one of the ships, and then a few more of the, I'm guessing again, these are objectives for extra points. Another player board. This one has seven on it. Uh, I'm guessing you draw something for figuring out a number, and then you pick a side for a randomization. Uh, also, I'm just noticing these all have a duder going off that way. But this one has Imperium Mining Colony and Galactic Developers. And another one having Imperium Gem Prospectors. Those look like some really dangerous gems. And Pan Galactic Diplomats. I wouldn't mind more stuff in this setting, honestly. And then lastly, we've got another board with more planets and the usual stuff on it, uh, with Retreat Into Isolation, which has a two money thing on it, a planet that popped out, and, you know, usual bunch of planets, researches, same ones that are blank on the other side, although, and I'm just gonna pop this out, this is not blank on the other side this time, has Chart Galactic Goals, Whee! So, I'm guessing you probably take those as a, this is what I'm doing this turn, or able to do this turn slash round, similar to how it would be in Twilight Imperium, with the whole, well, the things you would split up amongst the group. And if it's anything like race or roll, one person takes to do that, and then everybody will get to do it, but the person doing it has a little bit more of a benefit. It looks like this time might have even more of a benefit. Which is also, again, like Twilight Imperium, except in the case of Twilight Imperium, you get a huge benefit. And you get to dictate when it goes off. As opposed to in this, where it's just happening for the round, in general. But it also might mean that, like in Twilight Imperium, none of them can be picked more than once. I could be wrong. These could be also just laid out and flipped over when to indicate that they're not there. But yeah, this looks interesting. Uh, there are no dice. There are no cards. It's gotta be worker placement. That makes me happy. The only thing that looks like it might be able to be shuffled are the planets, and even then, there's no blank sides, so it wouldn't be hidden information or anything like that, although it might be a draw from the bottom kind of thing, which I've seen with some double-sided stuff, because then you're supposed to just guard onto that anyway. But that's everything this time around. I look really forward to getting to play this game at some point. If it wasn't for the fact that I do these unboxing videos, I actually would have opened this one as soon as I got home from buying it. Regardless, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this video, feel free to share it. Either way, I'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as, would you like to see more about this game? Or, roll for the galaxy. I would say raise for the galaxy, but again, like I said earlier, I don't have that. And I don't know it that well. But... I can always do Let's Plays, How to Plays, Reviews, all sorts of kind of things like that. If you request them, it will encourage me to do them, and I will do my best, no promises, to get around to them. I, but I will still actually try. I just have a giant backlog of stuff to do. And if you'd like to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, my painting videos, and anything else you might want to see me do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!